Hi, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm the co-inventor of the internet. That was a long time ago. It turned out it started out as a simple project that the American Defense Department was trying to uh, follow, but it was created, the internet was created by the academic community. Many of the people who worked on the project were computer science majors or computer engineers. Many of them were graduate students in colleges around the United States. Later, this whole process expanded to other academic institutions around the world. It was only in 1989 that the internet became commercially available, and the general public didn't have access to it until about 1991 or 1992. So the system is actually fairly young in terms of uh, commercial use. On the other hand, every one of you watching this video almost certainly is, has access to the internet and is making use of it. And what is important about it is that you have an opportunity to contribute to the network, to its operation, and new applications that are on this system. One of the applications that I hope you're familiar with is the math program called math to me This is a really important use of the internet. It's teaching people a very, very fundamental skill, mathematics. I'm a mathematics major myself. I was an undergraduate at Sanford University, and I studied mathematics and computer science a long time ago in the 1960s. It has given me an absolutely spectacular, fascinating career, which continues today. Probably the most important thing about mathematics training is to learn to think logically, to learn to uh, take a, pro a problem and take it apart into components and try to understand what each one of those components means, followed by solving the problem representing things in symbolic form, manipulating those forms using math mathematical rules, leads to answers. Lest you think that this is purely theoretical and it wouldn't be of any use in the real world, let me uh, remind you that writing software that does anything involves some form of computation, some kind of modeling, and mathematics prepares you for that. So in the long run, People who learn mathematics will learn to be productive citizens, and I hope you'll contribute to the internet. I don't think it's possible to design something like the internet without having a solid mathematics background, because you have to be able to model and analyze the performance of this big complex system. Queuing theoretic models, for example, told us a lot about how packet switching would actually perform in the real world. And in fact, my early work at UCLA was, was exactly on the problem of gathering data to compare mathematical queuing models with the actual data drawn from the internet to see whether those models reflected reality. Mathematics is your friend. It helps you understand the real world in very, very concrete terms. So the internet is a very open system. One of its most important values is anyone who wants to is free to contribute to the way it works, to adding functionality, inventing new protocols and new applications. Mathematics can often be the basis for those applications. So those of you who are studying math now may someday be the creators of the next Google. Some of you probably use Google uh, to find things on the World Wide Web. And you might wonder, what happens when 10 million responses come back and there has to be a way of ordering them, first, second, third, and fourth? Very, very fundamental pieces of mathematics allow us to do that. It's called Bayesian analysis, and it has to do with managing probabilities about which we have only partial information. It is possibly one of the most dramatic developments, and oddly enough, was invented in the something like the 17th or 18th century and neglected for many, many years until my good friend Judah Pearl at UCLA began pursuing this mathematical treatment of probability almost 30 years ago. Judah just got the ACM Alan M. Turing Award, which is the Nobel Prize of Computer Science for his contribution to the use of Bayesian analysis we use this at Google for almost all of our applications to help us decide what to show you from a search, uh, which ads to show you, 
on the right hand side of a search which adds to pick on somebody's web page this is a powerful example of how important mathematics can be and you too can learn how to do that